So my name is Cal and I'm building a startup completely from scratch. The idea? A dating app where you actually talk. That's about all I can reveal for now though. My goal is to document every single line of code written from start to finish. The successes and the struggles. As authentically as possible. I wish the people that built Tinder had a series like this and my hope is that one day my app will become an actual competitor to Tinder. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome back. There are not that many things left that we need to do. Uh, but now we're going to see if we can get the phone calling to work multiple times. We'll run this stuff again and see if we can do multiple calls. All right, let's test it. Uh, call. Let's see if we get a notification. We get a notification. Accept the call. Uh, end the call, uh, call back. Oh, now they're offline. Why are they offline? Doesn't make sense, but we'll delete some calls because I could actually interfere. Yeah, for some reason, as soon as you delete the calls, they're online again, but that's a different issue. Calling and we're getting no notification. Why? It could be that we have to run, well, like we have to do a clean run, if that makes sense. Okay, call accept great we have a conversation blah 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 then we end it now we call back and now there's no notification why is there no notification though because it worked the first time okay let's try this just asking it to retry it with extended thinking whatever that means but and it worked the first time, right? So the first time I was able to call someone and then I was able to call back and get a notification, I think. And no notification, what the fuck? Go back. Offline, why are you? Uh, the notifications worked, but now the question is, will the phone call work? Okay, we get into a phone call. That's good. I'm cautiously optimistic. And then we end the phone call, go back. They're offline for some reason, but we'll go back here. Call them again. Notification shows up again. We accept. We get into a phone call. Ah. Oh. Yes, it works. I don't know why the user shows up as offline for, uh, for one of the users. So we have to write that bug down. So now we've actually finished this. We've made sure that we can call users multiple times, which is so great. I also noticed something when I was going through the app, which is that the location of a user. So if I press here, and we check the profile. The location actually just says location set. I haven't even seen this before. So if the user who calls also hangs up, then they will see the other user as offline, even if they should be online. We will tackle that problem. And then if we have time today, we'll also tackle the unmatching. So making sure that we can unmatch users. All right, it seems like it actually works now. They continue to stay online, which is great. The next thing then, let's do this. I think this is more fun, changing the city. So right now it just says that location is set. And what we wanna do is change it to be the closest city. Okay, so it seems like we now have the location set. So New York, it says, and then it says New York here too. The thing is I've set New York for everyone, so um, I can't really tell if it works properly, but what we do, what I do know, what I realize is that editing the location does not seem to work because it ends up here in Marine Park or wherever it is. If I just switch and set location, this number 40.7 and 74 that stays the same if i do this 
it should be different. So not 40.7 or 74.0. So that means that we don't actually update anything. There's no output, so that's why we're... I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask Claude. If we press edit, we can see Sacramento is selected. Do that and then Smartsville, save Smartsville. The only thing is there's no text on the button here. Okay, so I think the color was just not correct. Location is fixed as well. So unmatching is the thing that we now need to make sure that it works. So we can go in here and press unmatch and that should unmatch us. I'll give it about 30 minutes and we'll see if uh, Claude can just fix that in 30 minutes. It should just be one call to the back end to remove a match, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's go to woman two, unmatch. Press it by mistake, did you? Okay, so that we want to remove. Yes, I did. No unmatch me. Let's try it. Ah, no matches yet. I didn't even know that we had this, but apparently we have this thing. This is the thing when you're working with these like AI tools is that sometimes things get created for you that you don't didn't even think about. Like I haven't thought about what happens when you have no matches, but that looks great. And we did remove the match. Perfect. Unmatching works we're really flying right now like we're at this point it's like almost a complete app so even though i'm a little bit sick i'm gonna film and i'm gonna do make some progress and what i did was i sorted out the to do's so right now we only have seven tasks left and then the mvp is completely done Report feature, pretty important, I think. The rest is just like small tasks, really. I realize we also need to make sure that we don't get rematched for 24 hours. So we need to add some sort of 24 hour block to them so that in case we are in a phone call right now and then our time is up and the phone call ends, we don't just get straight away sorted into a phone call again together. We need to make sure that we have some sort of timeout, something like that for each person. I guess we have to also calculate this stuff. So before we do these things, we need to calculate how fast because I don't know how many minutes you get on Agora for phone calls. I mean, I have a little bit of money, but I don't have much money to pay for like lots of people going on phone calls. All right, this is quite interesting, I think. We get 10,000 free minutes per month of voice calling on Agora. And that's why I chose it. For two people to be in a call for five minutes, it means that it takes five minutes for user A and five minutes for user B, which the total time for one phone call between two users is 10 minutes. So 10 minutes of my 10,000 minutes will be used up. 10,000 divided by 10 means that we can get a thousand calls per month. How many calls would a user do per day? I have no idea. Let's say that we have a thousand users or a thousand calls. A thousand calls that we can use per month divided by how many users let's say 100 users, that means 10 calls per user per month. How many would you do in a day? 10 calls is, what is that, 50 minutes? So it's an hour of phone calls. I have no idea how to figure this out. So 25 minutes of phone calls is about 10 cents. Something that is really good is charging maybe 50 cents for 25 extra minutes. I feel like 50 cents is pretty fair. It's also a good idea to ha to keep it under a dollar because if you feel like, okay, well, I get 25 more minutes to talk to this girl that I really like and it only costs me 50 cents. Like who's not gonna pay that? 50 cents is still like a 400% markup really incredibly good. I don't know if this is like MVP stuff or if it's for the second version or an iteration of it. I don't know how hard it is to add too. Adding it might add a lot of bugs and stuff that we don't want. Other problem which we'll run into, which is how do we deal with having like, let's say 50 users on the platform and we don't know if it's going to escalate to 100 users or if it's going to escalate to 1000 users or if it's 
gonna go down to like 25 users. So what I'm doing is I'm basing my calculations on 100 active users per month. In that case, we can give each user 50 minutes of phone calls, like 50 minutes per month of phone calls. What do we do with that? Do we give them 50 minutes to like use up in one day? Or do we limit them per day so they only have like a few minutes per day to use? Because first I was like, okay, well, we'll give them 10 minutes per day. But what I didn't realize is that 10 minutes per day is only two phone calls of five minutes each, which isn't great. So probably what you'd want is to have your full allotment of 50 minutes and just see it counting down. And then you can use it, use it all up in one day if you want. Right now, I don't know. I have no idea what the best option is, but oh fuck, we hit the limit for the clawed length for this conversation. Oh, that's great. When you were just about to fucking fix something for me. Not good, not good, not good. Ah, okay. Call started, maximum duration five minutes, monthly minutes remaining 50. Ideally, we should end up in the search part of the app where we're searching for another connection. Uh, I haven't told uh, Claude to do this, so we'll see where we end up. It's kind of a, it's a mystery at this point. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. We get a little warning here, 30 seconds left, and this changes to yellow. Again, the really cool things about working with these AI models is they'll add things that you didn't really think to add, but they're kind of nice features where we'll end up. Leaving call, cannot rematch today. Okay, <laughs> but we still ended up matching again, did we? Why is that? Okay, so that is a bug. Okay, so when we do this, we end up in a call together. If this person leaves, then this one will get, oh, cannot rematch today. You've already talked with this person today. You cannot match with them again which shouldn't happen. So I don't know why that happens, but that is a bug that we need to fix. So make sure to fix that. Make sure that the minutes get added on the back end for some reason that they don't get added still. But at least I got something done and I'm pretty happy I put in the effort. So um, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope I'll see you next one on Friday.